friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought we would do some summer doble decorating together. I shared a spring doble video maybe a month or two ago and you all really seem to enjoy that. So I thought we would do a summer version as well. So I'm actually going to be using a couple of different bowls this time. My spring one, I did my huge dough bowl, but for summer, I wanna pare it down just a little bit. And so I have two different ones that I'm going to be styling multiple different ways. The first bowl that I'm going to be sharing is this one. This was a Hobby Lobby fall bowl. It's more that wood tone look to it. Um, I've had this one, what, a year or two now, but thought that would be fun for some decor, so we'll style this one. It's just a good medium. It's not small, it's not huge, so I tend to really like this size, personally. And we're also going to be decorating this white one that I shared with you in my Amazon summer haul not too long ago. It's actually the exact same length as the other one, but of course I love the white for summer. Decor just really pops and it's just light and bright and I just love this one. So right now the white is currently sold out on Amazon. However, it is still available in, I think it's called the walnut color, more that wood stain looked. If you still wanted the white, you could definitely order that one and paint it uh, to look this way or you could go for the wood one a very nice heavy solid bowl For bowl number one, I just went ahead and added three mini plants. These are a set I purchased off of Amazon and they fit about perfectly into the bowl. And then I did add these beads just because they actually came with the bowl itself. However, I feel like the bowl looked good without them as well. This has to be the easiest one, and that is just to fill up your bowl with a bunch of lemons. Now these are from Kirkland's. I love them just because they have the leaves attached. They, I just love the pop of greenery. So I think this is a top contender for how I will style this on my shelves once I take all my patriotic decor down. For this bowl, let's call it the orb bowl. I almost said ball. But anyways, what I did, super easy, I just added some of these filler balls. You can find them pretty much anywhere. These ones are from Kirkland's. I'll try to link them. And then I wanted to do some red and blue to be a little bit patriotic on this bowl. So I added these stars that I love from Hobby Lobby. For this bowl, I want to use this wicker basket. It's kind of like a vase, but it's not. It's from Hobby Lobby in like the home decor section and the displays in the middle there. And I think what I'm going to do, I want to try to use these Cosmos flowers that I just found at Hobby Lobby. We finally got some in our store and I grabbed a bunch of them, so I'm really excited to use them and I think that they'll look really pretty coming out of this basket. So I'm going to snip these down and we'll get started with that.
flowers worked out really well in this little basket. I just like how wild they are. Super cute. And then what I did was I just added this small hearth and hand candle. I don't know that a full size one will, but we're gonna try and see in my next little style we put together. But just super simple with the flowers, the candle, and then of course the beads. For the last white bowl styling I'm going to share today, I'm going to try to use this Bath & Body Works candle. I actually picked it up at Goodwill this morning for $3. It's probably, I mean, almost full, honestly. It was barely burned, but it smells good. It is a fall candle, though. You can see the lid has pumpkins on it, which is not ideal, but if I take it off, it almost gives me that patriotic look. So I want us to use this to style the last bowl. It smells so good. I have these lemon picks from the dollar spot last year. They were like a set of three in one little bundle. So I think this will look really cute. Oops, I just ripped off a leaf. With the blue candle. trim it a little bit. Yeah, let me trim it. little mini shout out to this little candle lighter from Amazon. I've had it for about a month now, just testing it out. It's amazing, it's rechargeable. It is like the size of a, I mean a little bit bigger than a pen, maybe like a marker size. You just kind of flip the switch and that's what lights your candles. But I will link the lighter along with anything else that I can from today's video down below in the description box. I have so many more ideas, but I think I'm going to switch gears now and work with the wood dough bowl now, but let me know which white one was your favorite. So this bowl, now that I have it out, looks a little bit uneven, but that's kind of the joy of wood bowls like this. They're all kind of unique in their own way. But I wanna call this one that I'm going to share with you next, the baseball bowl. I was inspired by this mason jar that I picked up at Goodwill this morning. How cute is that? You can buy these on Etsy, you can also DIY. It looks like it's just marker, like over top of the white paint on the jar itself. Super cute though, I paid $2 for it, but this was my inspiration piece to really just get me started. I'm thinking we'll add some greenery and maybe an American flag coming out. what we have so far, I, I'm surprised. I, old baseballs in a bowl, who would have thought? It's super cute though. But that's really all I have for baseball decor, so I think I might improvise with some of my patriotic decor to finish it off. But I think for sure I wanna be on the lookout for more of this in the future. brainstorm on this bowl a little bit more. I feel like there's maybe one more thing I could add on this side. We'll see, but it is still cute as is. So I did a kitchen towel, 
some red poppies. These I found just at a local store. And then I added one of those big balls. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Orbs from Poppy Lobby. So we are doing super simple dough bowl decor with this one. I'm going to use two of my favorite Hobby Lobby candles. They have like the chalky bottom to them. I just like kind of the two-tone look to them. They give just a little bit more character. Put them there for now. And then also from Hobby Lobby, I have these artichokes, which I see people use these in dough bowls all of the time. This is my first time trying it out, but I love the green with the white and the wood. Just trying to decide I want to do three. So you could do three on one side, two candles. Let's see. Maybe even something like that. But yeah, just kind of a different way to add your greenery. And they're really cute. I only have three, otherwise you could just fill the bowl with them. Decided to play around with the artichokes just a little bit more. They're kind of fun actually, I'm surprised. But I pulled out this Amazon crock that I shared recently with some of those Cosmos and then my measuring cups from Magnolia. I thought they kind of paired nicely. And to hide the little riser underneath, I just used some measuring spoons. Okay friends, that is going to be it for today's summer dough bowl decorating. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, comment below and let me know which bowl was your favorite. I can't decide, but I kind of really love the baseball one. I'm super surprised by that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.